hey guys Tapan Sharma here and I'm back with another tutorial series and in this tutorial series we are going to be building data tables using Livewire and this is the kind of an intro video so I'll be talking about what are the feet what so this is a kind of an intro series and I'll be talking about the features that we are going to be implementing in the upcoming tutorials so let's talk about talk about the features that we are going to be implementing so our first feature is the pagination feature as you can see without any page reloads our data tables are paginated and the another feature that we will be implementing is searching through multiple columns so we have the student's name class section email address phone number and the class and sections are relations here so uh, each student belongs to a certain class and section so we'll be implementing searching through multiple columns as you can see if i type in w i l i e y then the name appears here so we are searching through name and if i type in three four eight five okay my num log is disabled three four eight five then it searches through the address and now if i type class two then the students that belong to class two are displayed here and if i also type in section b then the students belonging to section b are displayed here so we are implementing multi-column searching as well as searching through the relationships and our next feature that we are going to implement is deleting single records so whenever the, we delete record when whenever we want to delete a record then we'll show a confirmation dialog and when the user clicks on ok then the record gets deleted and also another feature that we'll be implementing is bug delete so if i select some records here as you can see the records are only the selected records have the color primary color and also we show a checkbox with the count of the selected records and then we can delete those and we get a confirmation message and if i click on ok then these data will be deleted from the database and we also see a confirmation message so these are the features that we'll be implementing in this data table series so if you want to learn how we can implement all these then join in and i'll be talking about a quick setup that we'll be needing for implementing all these in this video and from the next video we'll start implementing the data table using live wires so let's get started so before we start implementing data tables using live wire what we need to do is we need to make a few setups here so what i've done is i have already uh, created a database and defined a few models like a class a section model and a student model so a student belongs to a certain class and a certain section and a stu and the student model uh, also has some few columns like the student's name email address the address the phone number and we also have an action to delete the student and what i've also done is i have already installed the and what i've also done is i have already installed laravel live wire and a package called laravel debug bar as you can see here so it is generally used to check the performance or of our application like how many queries it is executing and what time it takes to execute those queries and also the models that are rendered and the live wire components that are rendered in this view so you can install this just by google searching uh, laravel debug bar and then you can call it from here okay this is the github link for the debug bar and so i've already talked about the relationship so a single student belongs to a certain class and a section and let me also show the database so I've see that the students table with some random data and the student uh, belongs to a certain section and a certain class as you can see in our classes table we have two classes and the sections table we have four sections each belonging to class one and class two so this was the general overview of the setup that i've already made and in the next video we'll, be, we'll start implementing the data tables using laravel livewire so stay tuned and see in the next one